In celebration of the Karate Kid's 35th anniversary and the upcoming season of Cobra Kai Season 2, they released the Karate Kid back into the theaters. And this was a pretty cool thing because I was a kid when this first came out, and the first time I watched the Karate Kid was on VHS. And another uh, fun thing about going to see this movie today, so they had two showings today. Between 1 and 4, I went to the 4 o'clock showing. And then they'll do this once, once again on April 2nd, which will be Tuesday. And they will have a 4 o'clock and 7 o'clock showing. They're showing in in over 600 theaters nationwide. So if you want to check it out, you can go to Fathom Events and you know see if it's playing somewhere close to you. 600 theaters, I mean, I'm sure in all the big cities you'll be able to see it. But the really cool thing about this is before the movie started... They had a basically, I think it was about an eight-minute documentary hosted by Ralph Macchio and William Sapka talking about the making of the original Karate Kid. And they flashed back to some scenes. They showed some behind-the-scenes footage. And then after that, then they had a two-minute sneak peek of a scene from Cobra Kai Season 2. So my guess is that probably on Wednesday or Thursday, they'll put that sneak peek out on YouTube. But I will tell you what it's all about right now. But before we do that, uh, a thing they're doing also about uh, the Karate Kid is in two weeks, on April 16th, they will be releasing it in 4K Ultra HD. And that will be pretty awesome. And I'm guessing that the mini doc, the eight minute documentary they showed today in the theater will probably be on this Ultra Blu-ray. So if you have a 4K TV, it'll probably be really impressive to watch this movie in 4k on blu-ray looks awesome so i can only imagine how awesome it's going to be on 4k all right so let's go to the scenes one thing i noticed that the scene they showed they showed parts of clips in the original teaser trailer and let me go to that right now okay so this was in the original teaser trailer they showed from cobra kai season two let me play it and then i'll explain what happens defeat you're in for a rude awakening it's a Okay, what happens is it shows uh, shows Johnny and Kreese coming out of the liquor store right next to the Cobra Kai dojo. And they have, uh, you can see that Kreese is, is talking smack to the guy that just sold him the beer, telling him to speak English because he, he, he like talks to him in Spanish, tells him to speak English or, or get the hell out of the country. And as they're walking out, Around the corner, as you saw, here comes here comes Daniel. And he's obviously was coming to ask him a question. And then he sees, this is where he'll see Kreese for the first time. And he goes, dead, huh? I thought you were, you know, I thought you were dead. And then Kreese, he, his evil side comes out. He says, hey, the gang's all back together. Well, almost the whole gang. Then he, then he says, my condolences. Talking about how Mr. Miyagi is no longer alive. So that was kind of a low blow. And you even see Johnny, when he says this, kind of back away from Kreese. Because Johnny still seems to be fighting that inner demon that, that he respects Kreese, but he doesn't truly want to be like him. And like I said, it was, it, was about a, it was about a minute and a half to two minute sneak peek. My guess is it will be probably on YouTube by Wednesday or Thursday. And I, I went and saw this movie, in the Cry Kid movie, in Burbank. And on the way back, I took my girl and I said, you know what, let's stop at the original Cobra Kai Dojo. I haven't been there in a couple months since I made that last video on the original shooting location of the Cobra Kai Dojo. And as we're driving through, so I went to, here it is. So there was a picture I took earlier today, and that's the, the original shooting location for the Karate Kids Cobra Kai Dojo, where they go in there and make plans to have a fight at the All Valley Tournament. And as you can see, it's inhabited by, by some homeless people out in front there. So this was from across the street. And, and you'll remember how when Mr. Miyagi and Daniel are walking away after, after Mr. Miyagi got creased to promise not to touch the boy until the tournament. And, and you see across, which you don't see now, but across this top is where you would see the Cobra Kai Dojo and the markings on this and then on this, these pillars right here. And, and then also, like I had said in my video before, across the street is, is, is not... It, you know, it's supposed to be 
the the Asian restaurant that Daniel's mother works at, but th this isn't the actual shooting location. And like, I'll leave a link in the description down below of the actual shooting locations for that restaurant. That's over actually over in L.A. off Wilshire, but they just put them together. And I, I'm guessing the reason they did that is because this gap is too close. And if you remember in the original Karate Kid, when Daniel comes over to meet his mother and have and have a meal, that the whole Cobra Kai gang walks out and then they notice that Daniel's eating with his mother and then they, you know, they're about to, you know, do something then they decide not to and they run off and then late, and obviously later in the movie, riding his bike home, they push Daniel down that hill. So that that was, this is the original dojo and then and I took a picture in front of it and I, I was wearing my Cobra Kai shirt because I am team Cobra Kai. But it's funny because there was a lot of people in the theater and they were either wearing Cobra Kai shirts or they were wearing Miyagi, Miyagi-Do shirts or headbands. It seems like a lot, a lot of the fans. And the theater was probably, I'd say it's probably, it probably was only half packed. But everyone there was a true fan. And it's cool to see some younger people that were there too. Okay, I'm going to have some other videos on some other information that, that uh, came out on Cobra Kai. And I will make them in the next few days. Go ahead and leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Mr. Yorkie Lover Fitness.com